Thomas, I'm Matt Weiner. You're you. We appreciate you being there. <laughs> um, well, they know who they are. Yes. Yeah. I, it, it would take too long to introduce them one by one. It would. Yeah, yeah. Um, Warriors went at 109 to 100. In some ways, they did what they did in game two. They dominated the paint. They dominated the boards. And Dallas couldn't hit enough threes to make them pay on the outside. Well, you know, the pressure is always on the home team to defend. And I thought Golden State came in and did an excellent job. And not only did they do an excellent job of establishing tempo, but then Steph Curry knew, like, okay, it's time to put the show on on the road. And I thought he did that, Smitty. Yeah, he did. And I, I think to add to you, uh, totally right, Isaiah. I think also they were just deeper. They're a deeper team. And yep. I think when they need some energy off the bench, you know, when it gets down to we, I can go nine deep, they can go six deep. Some games I go 10 deep, they go 5 deep. Yeah. And I think it's just starting to catch up. Uh, Luka and those guys, they're playing extremely hard. That's the one thing I do like about what the Mavericks are doing. But it just comes down to they just don't have enough for the Golden State Warriors. And I think also that championship experience mm -hmm. is showing up right now. Yeah. Well, and, and Dallas's offensive attack is predicated on, A, Luka Doncic dominating the ball and scoring big numbers. Check. Did that tonight. Yeah. Uh, with his eighth career postseason 40-point game already. That's the new uh, Mavericks franchise record. But it's also predicated on the guys on the wings and in the corners knocking down threes. And for the most part, that didn't happen. They were 13 of 45. That's under 29%. And Reggie Bullock and Maxi Kleba were combined 0 of 12. Mm -hmm. Davis Bertans only got off two threes on the night. Missed both of them. And even Dorian Finney-Smith hit two on five shots, which is efficient it's a good percentage but it's only two not enough like not you enough. said you know we start looking at percentages and everybody oh, he shot 40 percent but mm -hmm. two of five you know yeah. what i mean i think also we looked at some numbers in the paint they were five for six in restricted area and they were 23 for 28 i, I just think uh to matt's point uh they just don't have enough guys to generate offense yeah for right. themselves right yeah and I think also they need somebody else that also can get downhill and make a play for others. I think that's Brunson, Dinwiddie, and I think it's Luka. But then that's about it for the Dallas Mavericks. Yeah, and, and again, Smitty, you, you, you know from being in playoffs, right, how difficult it is to play at home, especially when you start out slow and you're not shooting well. I mean, that, that pressure just continues to build and build and build, and it starts to distort your confidence. And I think that's what we saw in Dallas tonight. You know, even though they were at home, they looked to be very uncomfortable at home shooting the basketball. And the reason why is because the pressure of the playoffs and having to defend at home, the visiting team really is like coming in with no pressure. And then the visiting team coming in as former champions, they know exactly the type of pressure that Dallas was under tonight, and they put it to them.